praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is your season. Hallelujah. It can be louder. It is your season. Hallelujah. And for the rest of 2020, Hallelujah. I'm moving higher this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. We do not have much time in this service. However, within the limited time we've got, we still continue to look at what we started last week, which is success lifestyle. Somebody shout it loud. Success lifestyle. Amen. Amen. I speak by the Spirit of the Lord. This year, you will not see failure. Amen. I want you to say it yourself. This year I will not see failure. This year I will not see failure. This week, shout it loud. I will not see failure. In the name of Jesus. I will see it dwell on the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou for then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. So we have good success in Jesus' name. Amen. So what we shall be seeing there are the critical responsibilities. So the beginning of the verse did not say then thou shalt have good success. But that is what ends the verse. Thou shalt have good success. But before you get to thou shalt have good success, you see something like this book of the Lord shall not depart. This book of the Lord, of the Lord, shall not depart out of their mouth. Out of your mouth. You will see meditation, but you will meditate therein. Then you see the time of meditation, day and night. And then you see other instructions. Thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So success and prosperity will not just come until you first carry out instructions that will make you become successful. Success don't just come. You must of necessity carry out basic instructions, attitudes, actions that will lead to success. You cannot sit idling away, doing nothing, and you expect success delivered to you. We fast, we pray, we sing, we saw, but why and how we expect God to respond is not by us just opening the pages of our Bible and we see money there. Your prayers become useless if you decide to stay tight, sit tight after your prayers. Your fasting becomes useless if after your 300 days of fasting, out of 365 days in a year, you decide to sit tight. And you will not meditate, and you will not act appropriately. Success will not come. You can move from one mountain to the other. If you fail to act appropriately thereafter, we don't see the success. 
So last week, we looked at this book of the law. And I told you that mentioning the book of the law suggests that there are other books. When you read, what you do is to acquire knowledge, is to learn. Without first the acquisition of knowledge, you should not be expectant of success. If you succeed without knowledge, that is what I call accidental success. It will kill the fellow. It can never be sustained. I was speaking with a friend yesterday. He's already a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Accountants of Nigeria. By definition of wealth, he could be regarded as a rich man. But he told me that he was in a class. He said, for the future, he's acquiring more degrees. He's not satisfied with the level he is. One typical example is um, our former president, Olusha Gwabasudok. After he ruled Nigeria for solid eight years, he went to Open University to go and acquire a PhD degree. I could recall that my father-in-law, as at the time I was courting my wife, or was it immediately after our marriage, in his old age, he already had gray hair. He still went to last school. The degree he went to, or the qualification, or the certificate he got, I cannot recall. The day you stop learning, that day you begin to diminish. And that is why you must always look for one book or the other to read. That is one. Number two. He said, this book of the Lord should not depart out of your mouth. That is also an instruction. See, you cannot succeed when your expression is negative. You should mind what you say. To be successful, you should learn to talk success. Even if you cannot say possibilities, but say possibilities. And it is only a matter of time that which you say you will eventually see. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you see, whatsoever you recite over time will definitely become a part of you. So, what you recite, what you always say to yourself, what you keep saying. He didn't say that you should not study the book of the Lord and keep it in your head. He said, this book of the Lord will not depart out of your mouth. He didn't say all oh, the book of the Lord. He said, eat it. <laughs> eat it. He didn't say hold oh, it. You know, back in this when we were in the village and in our white church, when they want to do anything, they point the Bible. They point the Bible. In the name of Jesus. It is not the Bible that is working. It is the name of Jesus that you mentioned. Just pointing the Bible alone. The Bible is a book printed by printers. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. There are some people, maybe they are having bad dreams. When they want to sleep, they carry the Bible under their pillow. If the Bible is not inside of you, in that dream, the devil will visit and so beat you mercilessly. He didn't say keep the book of the law in your hand. He said, this book of the law shall not what depart out of your mouth. Eat it. Let it be resident inside you so that what you are saying out is the content of the book of the law. You recite it. You become it. What you have inside, what you recite, what you say out is what you become. Yes, sir. When did you leave primary school? What year? 
That was when you entered primary school. When did you leave primary school? 1979. 78. An old man. Somebody shout out, hallelujah. Some of the earliest thing they taught you was one, two, three, if I'm not mistaken. And ABC. Can you still recite it? As a please read to us, one to twenty. <laughs> Can you still remember A, B, C, D, E, F? <laughs> to C. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's funny. Why? Because it has become part of. Let me tell you something that I learned last Sunday. Prophet Nathan came to the church office and he was busy going to carry baby books, books that are bigger than, than him. He was carrying. And I said, Come, can you read what is in the book? He was busy opening. By the time he opened the book and he want to read, you know what he was saying? One, two, three. <laughs> that was what was inside of him. And that is what, by the time he gets to school tomorrow morning, that is what he will be reciting. That was what they decided to start with him. So, now, he might not necessarily be able to recognize the shape so well because in the books that he opened, there was no one, two, three stated there. But as far as it's concerned, it is one, two, three. That is what he is as at now. He can only develop on that subsequently. So for you to succeed, you must work on what is inside of you. You must work on your expression. See, if you are succeeding, and all you tell yourself is about failure, the failure will come. So it is not the devil that is causing our failure. It is you. It is not the devil that is scattering our marriages. It is you. Your expression. Instead of reciting and quoting from the book of the law, instead of changing your expression, instead of you saying good and positive things about yourself, all you keep saying is that Nigeria is too difficult. Buhari is not good. He's a bad leader. If you say Buhari is a bad leader, he will lead you badly. If you say Nigeria is not good, we will never see good in Nigeria. Because you have said it. I'm sick and tired of this marriage. Then you will be sick. And you will be tired. The husband will always do what will make you sick. The wife will always do what will make you tired. Why? Because you have said it with your mouth. Success lifestyle must of necessity incorporate positive confession at all times. When you are sick, let him that is sick says what is what? It is not that you are deceiving yourself, you are only confessing positive things. You are confessing your expectation. And he said, let me read some of the things that are you have not learned anything until you are able to restate recite, say, express in clear terms, and even teach others that which you say you know. You continue to recite it. You continue to say it to yourself. No matter who is not believing in you, continue to say it to yourself. I'm a child of the living God. I cannot be sick. This my business is not small. This my business is big. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I'm the head. I'm not the tail. Those are the contents of the books of the law. No inhabitant of, of, of the land shall say they are sick. Therefore, I cannot be sick. I wish above all things that thou mayest and even as 
these are the contents of the books we are talking about. And so you say to yourself, poverty is not my portion. Shame is not my portion. Sickness is not my portion. I cannot be sick. I am healthy. I am prosperous. I am moving forward. I cannot diminish when Jesus was living. Say, behold, I give unto you power over serpent and scorpion and every power of enemy and nothing by me. So this week, I shall not be hurt. That is the content of the book. You say to yourself, he didn't say all oh, the book of the Lord. He said, recite. He said, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. The book of the Lord you do not eat will never work in your life. The book of the Lord you never recite will never become the thing, the real thing in your life. Learn to say good things to yourself. Learn to say positive things about yourself. Look at your children. Say positive things about them. Say positive things. What they are doing is wrong. But what you are saying is positive. There's one mama in the village. The mama was not that healthy. I wouldn't want to describe her kind of ailment up to today. But we are other women, we call their children Omali. She would rather say Omoko. We are other women, we say nasty things about, she would rather say good things about our own children. Unfortunately, to the best of my knowledge, she had only three children. One died. But the only one surviving now by the grace of God is succeeding. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In that village, I have not bought land to talk of building a house for my own mother. But our own daughter got a land, built a house for her, as we speak now. Why? She has been able to say good things to the life of her children. Good things. Your own, your own, your own case. All you know how to do is to complain about everything your children do. Is to say negative things about those your children. So at the end of the day, if your children do not become, you are the cause. It's not the devil. It's not the witch. Number three. I will round off this morning. Meditate. He said, dear he, you should meditate. Day and night. There are two things combined there. The first is meditation. You see, what is meditation? What you think about. What you are always thinking about. What you are always thinking about. What is it that constitutes what is in your heart? For you to be successful, you must think success every time. Day and night. The reason why you don't see the success is that you think of success in the day and at night you think of poverty. The reason why you are not getting better is that at night you think well. In the morning, you think horribly. So you allow what you see to determine what comes to your heart. You allow what you are passing through to determine what you think about Day and night. Day and night. I've told you many times. Never get discouraged no matter what you are passing through. Never allow the devil to see your tears. Your tears will never give testimony to God. Your tears is why the devil is suffering you. And that is what he wants to see. The moment the devil sees your tears, in their kingdom, they begin to give glory to the devil. Why? They are winning. Tear is a mark that you are a woman. That is true. It is also a sign that you are losing hope. It is a sign 
that you are depressed. If you don't check it, I pray something else does not take over from there. But if you see a man that is always meditating on the word of God, he might be passing through the fire, but he's always meditating on the word of God. He is not having money in his pocket, but he's always thinking, meditating, thinking about his success. I use myself as a typical example. It's only a matter of time that we see that success. Now, 1st of May, 2002, a woman that borrowed the money with which I started Stocks Watch came and got me arrested. Locked me up in area AIF police station. To God be glory, I didn't have the money. I didn't have the party. The police officers were saying, and the woman went there to tell lies. She went there to tell lies. A Christian, as a matter of fact, as at that time she was a member of Deeper Life. Where is Sister Angus? She's not in church yet. As at that time, she was not using jewelry. The woman, the woman that went to tell lies, wrote all manner of dirty things with the police. She doesn't use earring. She covers. She doesn't do palm. Is it palm? They call it. Huh? Eh? She doesn't fix her eyes. But she went to tell lies. Why did I say so? At the end, when they eventually released me, after my wife went around, was able to get money, and then they were to release me. The supro that attended to the two of us faced her and said, Woman, I should arrest you and lock you up. Why did you tell all these lies? But I told the supro, there were letters, there were documents. Why did your officer not follow the documents? Why were they following what the woman was saying? And I said to the woman, I said to the man, I'm a miracle going somewhere to happen. In the same, the only time that I shed tears was when I saw my wife. She would come to the front of the cell. And I would be looking out at her from the window like a helpless woman. <laughs> and she was carrying five months pregnancy of Arabic day, or how many months pregnancy. So when I see her face, the way she would make her face, the way she would want to shed tears, that's the only time I would shed tears. Otherwise, as soon as she's gone, 30 minutes, I will get up. I became their preacher inside the cell. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It is not only inside the church that I began to preach. I also preached inside the cell. And what was it that I was telling them inside the cell? I told them to look at me very well. That I am a miracle going somewhere to what happen. Esa, did that same stocks watch not make me happy? Anybody and everybody that matters within the capital market, I know them. Praise the Lord. Yeah. If you trade stocks actively in Nigeria and you do not know me, then who do you know? But the beginning of it, I was locked up in the cell. I told them, I am a miracle. Going somewhere to have one. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I happened in Nigeria. Hallelujah. I happened in London. Hallelujah. I happened in America. Hallelujah. I happened where again? Did I not happen? Rise on your feet. You can only become the product of what you think. Of your thoughts. He said meditate day and night. And that's why when you are thinking positive things, it must be a day and night activity. Day and night activity. Every time activity. You must be driven by that positive thinking. You shouldn't be like the children of Israel. Today, they are giving thanks to God. The following day, what are they doing to the same God? Forty nights. We do 
not know what has become of him. Maybe a strange animal had met him on the mountain and had eaten him. And we cannot say like this, Aaron! Come and make, take our joys. Come and make God for us. Of course, that is what other churches, conservative, conservative churches, had perverted and said that because they brought out her jewelries, so women should not wear jewelry. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. My wife wears jewelry. And even when I stay, I, I stay outside and I didn't come. She didn't gather it to give to somebody, turn it to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot succeed in areas where your mind is not focused or concentrated. So distraction is a major enemy of success. Accidents are products of lack of concentration and distraction. Now, no matter how successful you are, the moment distraction is creeping, you lose it. You will not lose it in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know why we close our eyes when we pray? It is not the close of our eyes that will make God to answer the prayer. We close our eyes so that we can focus. If you are distracted in marriage, lose the marriage. It's not the devil. It is the distraction. In business, if you are distracted, you will lose it. If you are distracted about money management, you lose money. Center your mind on what you are engaged in and you will succeed. A student that becomes distracted, no matter how brilliant that student is, you will come as a feeling. Your children will not fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands to the heavens. And begin to cause success. Express it. Begin to express success.